When a human diploid somatic cell divides, it produces two identical diploid daughter cells. In order to do this, the parent cell has to create a full-sized copy of its DNA so each daughter cell's nucleus has all of the genes the parent cell had. We call this process DNA replication, and it takes place prior to mitosis during the S phase of interphase. We'll call the original DNA the parent DNA and the two new ones the daughter DNA. The first thing that happens is the core particle of DNA disassembles, freeing up the double helix from the histones. Then, an enzyme called DNA helicase breaks the hydrogen bonds between base pairs, opening up a segment of the double helix like a zipper. The point at which the double helix opens is called the replication fork. Next, multiple enzymes called DNA polymerases on each strand of the original DNA molecule bring free DNA nucleotides to bind with the newly opened nitrogenous bases. Because of complementary base pairing, we know that each new bond will be specific and match the bond that was there in the parent DNA, forming two identical copies of the original double helix. Between the DNA polymerases is an enzyme called DNA ligase, which closes the gaps between polymerases. Each daughter DNA has one newly formed strand and one strand conserved from the parent DNA. For that reason, this is called semi-conservative replication. Once this is complete, new histones formed in the cytoplasm will be available to reassemble the new DNA into its original configuration. At this point, the nucleus is prepared to divide into two nuclei, each with a full copy of its DNA.